a secret? How to win a mind game? You quit. That's how you win a mind game. There's only one way to win mind games. Those little thought things that keep you out of your peace. You quit. You stop the game. You stop the lies that you tell yourself. You stop the self-berating. You stop telling yourself that you're not good enough. You stop telling yourself that you're not beautiful. You stop allowing yourself to think these things. It's really that simple. And peace is there if you just stop playing the mind games. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to know the mysteries of the universe. You don't have to know everything in the spiritual books and stuff like that. You don't need to know all that. All you need to do is stop playing the mind games with yourself. If you say bad things to yourself, if you treat yourself badly, if you have bad inner dialogue, these are mind games. These are lies that you're believing as truth. And I'm going to tell you something else about mind games. There's actually little gremlin spirits that try to keep them going. What I see when I'm working with these, with these spirit beings, and it's like little, little gremlins. Some people have big old demons, for lack of a better word. Or, shall we say, misguided dark spirits is a better word for it, because nothing's really bad. Nothing's really evil. It just got lost a while in ignorance before it returns, before to, it returns to source. What I've seen is that when people have this obsessive thought about how they're not good enough, or how they're not worthy, or how they're not okay in some way or another, there's usually little mind gremlins playing, trying to keep this game going, trying to keep this program going in your brain. You have to literally be strong enough to say, no, I'm not playing the game. I am not gonna think that about myself right now. I am not going to think that about the world. I'm not gonna think that about my life. I'm not gonna think that about someone else right now. I'm not gonna do it. I'm too, too smart, smart for, for that, that game now. I see through the facade of that game. I see through the lie of that game. And the more you can do this, basically being the consciousness police on yourself and catching yourself in these, these little vortexes that you get into, these emotional and mental vortexes, because they tangle each other up. First you have the thought, then the emotion is just keeps it going and tangles it and then the little gremlins in there just juicing up with the juice that that gives it because that's what it lives off of and they're not really bad they're not really evil they just don't know any other way they're lost sometimes there's full-on spirits that got trapped in the other worlds that that are are getting something out of this but don't worry about that. That's not your concern. What you have to do is stop giving this program a chance to run. Don't let this program run anymore. And they'll go away on their own. Because if you're not, if you're not playing the game anymore, you're not playing the mind game anymore, then that's just defeated the whole purpose that they're there. So that'll all go away on its own. As you fill yourself with light, as you fill with yourself with love, as you fill yourself with wisdom and intelligence, that is the God self that you are, as you fill yourself with that, there won't be lower spirits that are attracted to what you, your energy. You don't vibrate with that. And I'm just telling you this to let you know that there's a little more to it than just a program, just a, just a obsessive thought. There are energies in the spirit world that it's part of the challenge 
to for them to keep it going so that you can break out of it. So you have to be strong. You have to be self-disciplined. Self-discipline has to be your middle name when trying to stop a mind game. When and, and deciding not to do it anymore. I'm gonna give you another video right after this to help you with some methods on how to stop the mind games. Just telling you to quit isn't quite enough. I'm gonna tell you how to quit because I've had a lot of practice with this one. <laughs> and I'm still practicing because even though I've gotten to a really, a really good place, in, I'm still working on it. It's a lifetime job to, to evolve the human, human condition. condition. It's, it's a, a lifetime, lifetime task. task. And I'll be doing it until the day I die. The point is, is that it's never really fully over. You aren't ever fully free of mind games, but you can spend a larger percentage of your time free, free of the mind, mind games. You spend more time being free of that. And then spirit's like, oh yeah, you think you got this one conquered? All right, let's check on that. And something else comes in to see if you're really free of the program. So just keep working at it. Keep the self-discipline. I'm gonna tell you some methods for self-discipline. And quit the mind game. That's how you do it. You just quit. You don't figure anything out. You just say, I'm done. I'm not gonna think those things anymore. I'm not gonna feel those things anymore. Welcome to the rest of your life. It's gonna be better, I promise, when you can stop the mind games and stop believing the lies that your mind tells you. Om Shanti Namaste.